Hello and welcome to Capricorn Makes. I'm Stacy, and I'm here with some cordial. And I'm here with a certain someone who got a shipping notice that his head is in the mail. So that's very, very exciting. So he should be here um, possibly as early as the end of the week, uh, possibly as late as next week. Uh, it depends on um, how the shipping goes. Um, but I wasn't expecting him yet. Um, not that his shipping estimate wasn't ready or anything like that. Um, like his, um, when I queried them, like they said it could be ready as early as the first week of December or as late as like the end of February or like the middle of February or something like that. But because we're going to be away, um, I wouldn't get him until like the beginning of March. Um, but that is not the case, and he's coming home, so he's kind of jumped the queue in my priority a little bit, uh, because once he gets here, or once his head gets here, I'm gonna want to do a face-up, and I'm gonna want to do a wig, and I'm gonna, um, like, really sort of prioritize his clothing, because you can see he's still wearing a half-finished pair of test pants and not a shirt at the moment. Um, so, um... It is a little bit inconvenient because I had some shoes on order for Alice's collection, but they are tied to the broken hand from my Gem of Doll falling, so they won't actually get shipped here until uh, her hand is cast and makes it to Alice's collection, which um, that's not going to happen for a while yet. So he'll be shoeless, which I'm not super keen about, but that's okay. Um, but yes, so his head is coming home, and I am so excited, and fingers crossed because the neck is slightly smaller than, uh, or the head is slightly smaller than this neck. Although, uh, the head, or the head is the same size as, um, the Rumpeldoll Abaddon, who Sighthound Lady has on this body, or the body that's really similar to this one. Like, it's the same proportions, it's just more cut. Um, and has all the extra parts. Uh, but, and that head looks really, really good on this body. So fingers crossed that everything is shaped in such a way that my head that's coming actually looks good on this body. So I don't really know what I'll do if it doesn't, but we'll see. We'll see. Adventure, right? Um, so, um, yes, so that's coming and that's very exciting. Um, I'm behind in my try redo stuff. Like not that I wasn't behind before, but, um, I basically hit a wall Oh, I have a splinter. That's no good. Um, fixed. Uh, but I hit a wall where, um, like, I, I went to go get more supplies out, and then I couldn't. Like, I couldn't put anything away because there was just too much stuff out, and I hadn't, like, I, I wasn't able to get anything new out or put anything away, or... So, basically, just everything had to come out and everything had to go back up. Um... So I am most of the way through that process now. Like, um, you could probably see some of the in-progress shots, um, when, like, on my Instagram, I took some, like, I'm mostly done, but I have put, like, more than 20 hours into this over the last week, and I probably, I have a lot more to go, but it, everything is at least all in this room, and I can access all parts of my storage now, so that is... A huge improvement. I still don't have a working space in here um, just yet. So, um, like, I can't, like, I think my shoes are under, like, two feet of stuff that is over here in bags. So I kind of need to continue putting stuff away before I can have the space to actually craft. Um, but having the discipline to actually, like, sit and clean up instead of actually making things has been super frustrating. I, all I have wanted to do is make stuff and I just haven't, like I haven't been able to get to my supplies. I haven't had the, just, it hasn't been a thing. So, um, I'm almost to the point where I can start making things again. Cause I have like, I got some new yarn to make a yarn wig. I like to try a yarn wig again. And I found an alpaca wig that I have half put together so I need to sort of finish putting the the alpaca wefts on it and then trim it up to however I want it and I am in the middle I found a whole bunch of clothing that's like half done um that I would like to finish um and I found all of my patterns that I had printed off uh for um 
uh, for cutting out out of like the Hannon book and like all of that like found all of my um, I had had all my Blythe patterns out from those, Blythe size patterns out from those books, but I had very carefully put my like 42 centimeter doll patterns away. Well, I found those and I cut them all out um, last week. And so I just like, I want to make stuff. I want to make stuff. I finally made storage room for all of my doll, uh, like all of the fabric that I had collected for doll clothes. Because like when I'm thrifting, I just find like whatever suitable or whatever I like or... Um, but I sort of reorganized and I emptied a full bin of stuff out of the like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fourteen bins that are out here. Fifteen, because there's another one here. Um, and then there's three or four bins in the closet, maybe five bins in the closet. So these are big bins full of fabric. Um, and they are all sort of at the overflow point. So I managed to empty one entire bin and then I reorganized my scrap bin um, in order to take doll clothes and, and scrap that's meant for doll clothes. Um, so that has probably been my biggest problem. Like underneath this table, so this table is mm, maybe a six or seven foot by four foot table. Um, and it was almost completely filled underneath with bags full of cloth. Uh, but all of those are away. The only thing that is under here now is the stuff that's actually meant to be stored under here. Um, which I'm super excited about. Um, so having that, um, done is huge. Like, I've had, like, a big backlog, um, for a long time. Um, let me see, like, what... I actually had quite a lot of things that I had wanted to talk about without actually really having anything major to talk about. I just wanted to come hang out because it's fun. Um, it's hot. Like, it's it's properly hot here now. Um, like, it will get a lot hotter, but I'm at the point where, like, the whole house is overheating now, and I'm just like, if we really hit that point? Yeah, we really hit that point. So, I have to do, like, all my fabulous, like, house shenanigans and because uh, the cats are not allowed in here so I have to put the cats away in order to open up the house in order to make this room cool enough and then like the worst time of the day is like um right now which uh because the sun comes around the side of the house and then I basically get full late afternoon sun here before it hits like the edge of our fence um so like it'll get hot throughout the day because it's getting hot from other parts of our house and then and then it's just like but I, I made sure that I cooled this down a lot because I, I wanted to come in here and I wanted to do stuff. Um, so let's not get the S hooks stuck in my earrings. That seems like a really poor idea. Um, <laughs> uh, looks like I'm going to have to pause here and charge my battery. That's really sucky. Right. Oh, let's see how much time that gets me because I didn't have very much patience. So I just threw it on there for like 10 minutes for a charge. Hopefully that'll get me through the end of this video. Um, where was I? So... I may need to start back at the beginning of my thought. So, um, so I was talking with someone and they were teasing me about the having gotten bit by the doll buying bug, like, properly. And I laughed at the time. I'm like, oh, I, you know, I have one head coming, one head coming. And yes, I have like further plans, but, um, well now I might be it might be two heads that are coming and I might be looking at what kind of bodies I want to pick up in the winter sale, uh, in the winter event sales. So yeah, my birthday is right at the beginning of January and, um, my dad just usually sends like a big lump sum at Christmas time, uh, for, for both things. And, um, sure there's lots of things I can do with that, but usually I, I, take that chunk in and apply it towards like, you know, a big thing. Like this last year, that money went towards, um, my, uh, Carter, my wool Carter. Um, and I didn't, I didn't buy that until the year was halfway over. I usually sit on it like all year in case there's something that comes up that I want to do or, or whatever, but I got things that I want to buy this year. <laughs> now the question is what? what do I get? Um, so if I have, uh, one, potentially two incoming heads, um, both MSD, uh, and I am looking at, um, some of the MSD bodies, um, are there. I had said I had been interested in getting either the doll leaves body or the long sole, uh, like the one, the, the 40, centimeter body that the one one is on um, for the Lorena head that's coming in 
but really with a with them on sale why not both and speaking of why not both um in my um, in my body review video that I did for the Gem of Doll, um, I was saying how I was really looking forward to painting um, Noe's body in January, but um, I really don't want to put clothes on it because like some of the feather detailing is quite detailed and I am super afraid that I'm going to chip off like whatever work that I could do and it's going to be intricate and it's going to like just be if I do end up chipping it. So I am not, I kind of want to get her a second body. Uh, and they are also, they're on 20% off right now. And I'm like, hmm. not that they don't go on sale pretty regularly. Gem Doll um, regularly puts out events and then their anniversary event is in like, I don't know, end of February, March, something like that. That's when I bought her originally. Um, so uh, like, I do know that they, that they go on sale pretty regularly, but since it's the holidays and since it's my birthday and since I really want to paint the body and since I really like her on the, the I love the body itself, I would like to just replace the body for her with the non embossed version. Um, so just basically the same body again. Um, yeah, I'm, I, and I'm seriously, looking at two or three bodies or uh, or I could hold off on all of that and get um, his analog um, which the only thing that's really slowing me down on that just found something underneath my sewing machine that shouldn't be there uh, the only thing that's really slowing me down on that is I have a body picked out I would like one of the 65 centimeter um, Supia doll the new bodies I think or possibly a spirit doll the proud is that the big one um, one of those two bodies um, most likely the Supia doll uh, but I I have been kind of on the fence about what head that I want and the more I look and the more I look the more I look I the more I'm going I'm just not liking that and I, I'm not really sure what I want to do about that yet. Um, so like if I absolutely had my heart set on a particular sculpt, as, as it is, there's three um, that I'm looking at. Uh, one of which is um, easily obtainable and pretty inexpensive. You know, it's like $100 for a head, not bad. Uh, one of which is an artist cast head who is not, or not an artist cast, but it's an artist head that is not... Um, currently in production, so I'd have to get it off the second-hand market, and is probably in the $200 range. Um, that's what the prices that I've seen it going for second-hand. And um, the third one is, uh, can be ordered directly from the company, but would require um, an eye modification, and also I probably want two of them because I really like the closed eye version as well. So that's not going to be cheap if I go that route. <laughs> Um, but so yeah, I'm still looking, uh, but like if something solidifies over this next, um, like, you know, month that's leading up to when I actually get this, um, that pushes me in one direction or another. Um, I'm sure you guys will hear all about it. Um, you know, I'm a little bit nervous because, um, so my battery was at full bars when I started and then like it started flashing like low battery warning and now there's no battery indicator at all that seems pretty bad um but yeah I think I'll leave it there and just make sure that this is actually recording and if it is that's pretty much a whole video I do have more to talk about but um you know I'll be back uh, thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one.